This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to the Sweet Stuff Software. This week, I'm doing part three of our five-part series on a guide to Linux, and this week, I'm looking at Linux Mint. It even gives you a nice green color to give you that hint of mint. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, which in turn is based on Debian or Debian, however you want to say it. And you see, when you first install Mint, it shows this handy little screen, shows you new features, any problems, provides you with a PDF user guide. You can look at tutorials, the forums, chat rooms, and so on. You can have this come up every time if you want, or you can uncheck it and say close. <laughs> now, Linux Mint is extremely stable. It's extremely stable, and it's very appealing to average users. It's very easy to use. You can click here on your menu, and I like the way that this comes out because it puts things out in front of you. Similar in some respects to the Start menu in Windows. So you have your web browser, your mail client, music player, messenger, text, calculator. You have other software. It's easy to log in and out, lock the screen, go into terminal mode, and so on. Over here, you have your connections to the internet. You have your own defined home area where you put your files. Mint Linux or Linux Mint is extremely secure. In addition to being very stable, Linux Mint is very popular with people coming from Windows. And it's easy to see why. It's because it has that start menu feel. It's very easy to use. There's your speakers and things over here. You can hide programs and then unhide them there. So Linux Mint is free and it's supported solely by user contributions and by advertising on their website. They have user groups and forums where you can get questions answered. So Linux Mint might be a good choice for you if you're looking for something that's easy to use, easy to install, extremely stable, very user friendly, and somewhat reminiscent of Windows. You'll feel very comfortable with Linux Mint. I've got links for a download in the show notes, and I've also provided a link to the Linux Mint homepage. This is Linux Mint. That's all for me for this week. I'll be back next week with part four in our guide to Linux. I really hope you'll join me. And until then, for all the sweet stuff, stay right here on butterscotch.com. Hey, this is Doc. I know a lot of you watch my show, so if you'd like to show your support, head on over to hover.com slash sweet stuff and get domains for 10% off. You show your support, Hover is easy to use, and lets you get domain names and make the most out of them. Thanks.